All right, Shalom, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praise, this honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekah Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles, our elders, our bishops here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, Shalom. All right, and I'm just getting straight into this video today, man, because um, Esau, he's the goddamn devil, man. He's a goddamn liar, man. All right, he's also the prince in the, of the air, man. The scriptures speak about that, man. And um, before I get this Amos, man, because uh, at the end of the day, man, you got to take heed of this word uh, that the Lord is putting out to our people, the Israelites, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans now. All right, why well, you can have the advantage of receiving this word. But um, very quickly, just showing that Esau, the prince of the air, man, because this devil will have it where you can't even uh, get into your page and... Um, Lord willing, I'll, I'll do a, 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 a video and I'll show a, a snippet of um, of Esau whenever he um, pretty much suspended suspended my page for um, for an old video back in uh, January, May, I believe. All right. And, uh, but I, I, I'll do a, a quick video, a quick hitter with that one. But uh, nevertheless, this is uh, Ephesians 6 and 12. It says, for we wrestle not against flesh or blood or against principalities, against powers against the rulers all right once again it says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high place all right meaning that of course by now we should know job 9 and 24 the earth is given into the hands of the wicked but this devil is in control and manipulates all things man all right this devil is the uh, as, as the scripture said uh, the, the the prince of the air man the power of the uh, of of stopping uh, banning videos because um you know what makes me so uh, frustrated at times as well is when you have a, like a little bit of momentum Esau uh, try to hit you with a, a, a um a strike for for some old content man but um very quickly let me grab this too man because this just makes me think about uh as the scripture said this double all right Esau the double. All right. It says, uh, uh, first Peter five and eight, be sober, be vigilant. All right. Meaning that a, hey, even in the frustration of all things, man, we got to understand what we're on the battlefield for, man. All right. In the midst of us proving all things and still, uh, 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 obedi obediently blowing the trumpet of Yahweh, I was shy, man. All right. Because they look, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary. All right. Because even, even though we want to fuck Esau up on the, on the regular, man. All right, we got we to gotta wait on the Lord. The scriptures tell us that as well, too, in Romans chapter 12, if I'm not mistaken, where the Lord says, uh, avenge not yourselves, all right? But we still have to be um, be, be very vigilant and mindful of how we move. But the scriptures say, uh, wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove, all right? But First Peter 5 and 8, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, Esau, all right, the prince of darkness, all right, the ruler of spiritual wickedness, as we just read in Ephesians, as it says, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. All right, and the devil is going to come hard at the at the prophets of the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, because what are we doing, man? We're standing up for truth and righteous sake, and, and at the end of the day, we're giving our people the, 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 the proper warning, all right, the correct way to serve the Lord, all right, uh, uh, and also exposing this goddamn devil. This devil hates to be exposed, man. All right, but all it is is awful that Esau is the devil. All right, the, the earth is operating in wickedness. All right, and that and at, at the end of the day, that, that we're the chosen people of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. At the end of the day, hey, the, the hope and humble fearful of that, we're going to take heed. And hey, the rest of our people that find themselves in the two in the two thirds club, hey, the Lord is going to destroy them on this side, man. All right, but they're not to stray too far because I'm going to go back to that Amos 8 and the 7, uh, 8, Amos 8 and 11, because it all ties back into what, man? All right, it all ties back into hey, this word of the Lord is not going to be out here forever uh, for our people to receive. All right, because as we just read, it says that the, the, the devil walking around as a, as a, as a roaring lion seeking who can, he can devour, man. And most of our people are destroyed for what? For a lack of knowledge. And they're destroyed for following the ways of America, Babylon. Okay, now let's get back into that Amos, man. All right, well, I was going to start it. Amos chapter 8 and 11. All right, tying it back to, hey, man, you just double going hard at, you know, making it difficult for you to upload your videos and whatnot, because you know, that's just the problem that I was having. But through the spirit, the Lord has on my spirit to hey, always keep the, the, the clip full, man. So uh, through the spirit, you might see some videos that uh, I might be, um, you know, I, it, it, I don't know. It might sound like I'm talking about something that happened last week or so to speak. But uh, nevertheless, 
Hey, hey, we, hey, we stay fully loaded over here in GMS, Great Millstone, hey, through the Spirit. But um, hey, Amos 8 and 11, it says, uh, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh. All right, so that's that that means that hey, there's going to come a time where you're not going to see the prophets on the highways and byways. And that time of Jacob's trouble, all right, pursuing the Jeremiah 30, all right, lets you know, man, that hey, this this is going to be a time. And let me just get that for edification's sake, man. All right, because when you this this double, man, you, you never know when you saw want to pull the plug on your on, on your on your channel, so to speak, man. So this is the time of Jacob's trouble. This is Jeremiah 30, uh, uh 30 and 7. It says, The last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right. And this is the warning that we're giving our people. It's going to become a time of trouble for the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. At such a time that has never been recorded according to man's history. All right. And it says that he that's going to be saved out of it is going to be the hope for humble fear for the elect. All right. The ones that's going to take heed to this warning that the Lord has his prophets out here giving our people, man. As we're going to allude back to Amos 8 and 11. All right. To the ones that, 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 that the famine of the hearing the words, because this is the words that we're telling our people, man. Get right with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Repent and return to the Heavenly Father, man. All right, but the ones that's not going to take heed, we're going to go back to Amos because you're going to be searching for the word. You're not going to be able to find it. This is the point about getting ready now, man. All right, not being in a stagnant state of mind. All right, now let's go back to the Amos, Amos chapter 8 and 11. Now it says, it says, it says, it says, Behold, the Lord, the Lord, the Shalaki, the, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of, of Yahweh and shall not find it. All right. So this is going to be the famine that hurts our people the most, man. All right. Because guess what? You're going to be able to it, it, before when Jacob's trouble, before it's fully implemented and before it's uh, that full squeeze, you're going to be able to go out and get your little goddamn water and your goddamn necessities. But when all that shit dries up, man, and when martial law is kicking in your door and when Esau is trying to demand you to take uh, his 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 stamp, man, his his chip, man. All right. And hey, this is this is when you're going to have to uh, uh, really ask yourself. What the hell is going on? But hey, guess what? The hope and humble, fearful elect, man. And hey, we're going to know what's going on because guess what? Let's get this one real quick. Let's get this one real quick. All right. We're going to go back to that Amos. We're going to go back to that Amos. Let's, let's get this real quick. Isaiah chapter uh, 33 and 6. What does it tell us? What does it tell us? It says, uh, and wisdom and knowledge. And where are we getting the wisdom and knowledge? We're getting the wisdom and knowledge and understanding right now from the scriptures, man. All right, we once were lost, but now the, hey, the words have been found. The Lord has given us uh, the apostles, the elders, the bishops, all right, giving us the understanding of the scriptures, man. All right, now it's up to Jake to, hey, to make it make sense, man. Jake always say, make it make sense. Here it is, the Lord has given us the, the, the apostles, the elders, all right, giving us the, ourselves to be teachers, to give our people the understanding of just common sense, man. All right, but guess what? They despise it, as the scriptures tell us, man. All right, and it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability in thy times, and strength of salvation. And guess what times they're talking about? The times that we read about in Jeremiah, the time of Jacob's trouble. What's going to be our strength to make it through times that we've never seen before? It's going to be strength in the Lord and trust in the words of the Lord, man. All right, and not that hocus-pocus uh, Jesus Christ bullshit that our people are, have, got, have their stock invested in, man. All right, there's no power in that name of so-called Jesus, man. All right. Now it says, um, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength is of, of strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right. And with the fear of the Lord, let's find out. All right. Because uh, that he that shall be saved out of it, that it speaks about in Jeremiah, those are the ones that fear the Lord, that those are the ones that's his treasure. And how do we prove that? How do we prove that? We go to Proverbs chapter one and seven. And it says, and it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. All right. And didn't, didn't we just read it says that, that wisdom and knowledge. All right. Now, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instructions. And where are we getting instructions from? From the scriptures, knowing who our enemy is, knowing who, knowing how to identify the devil, knowing how to identify that this is Babylon, knowing how to identify that we shouldn't be eating these and celebrating these abominable days, things of that matter, man. Following those instructions that make sense, make it make sense. The apostles and elders and, and the teachers, we're making it make sense through the spirit of the Lord, man. All right. But as the scripture says, but fools despise, despise wisdom and instructions. Hey, the, the hope for humble, fear, fearful elect, we're prudent, man. We aren't fools, man. We don't move as the rest of these foolish people do, the two-thirds club, all right? Now, uh, going back to the uh, the Amos, we're going to wrap it up. 
Amos 8 and 11, because at the end of the day, that famine and hearing the words of the Lord is not going to be out here forever, man. All right. For you people to just be tearing around because it says they shall wander from sea to sea. All right. And they shall not find it, man. You people are going to want to seek the words of the Lord, but you're not going to be able to find it. All right. And, and to wrap it up, let's get this one very quickly. And then um, we'll just uh, I'll follow up with the rest of the inserts that I had in the chamber uh, on the videos. And um, Lord willing that they be edified. So this is a uh, Sirach five and seven getting straight to it. It says, make no tearing to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. That day of Jacob's trouble, that day when the Lord comes back, man. All right, that hour of temptation. If you're not on the right side of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, guess what? You're going to be destroyed, man. All right, you're going to perish in the day of vengeance, man. All right? The Lord is going to avenge his hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. The ones that were obedient, the ones that took heed to the wisdom and instructions, the ones that, that feared the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. All right, and through their works, we've proven it through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, so um, Adam Radazai, I pray this quick video has been edifying and good nourishment. Uh, Shalaki for the for the delay. Uh, Esau is the motherfucking devil, but hey, that don't stop, man. Yeah, that don't stop. That don't stop shit, man. It just make a hey, rose go harder, man. Through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. All right, hey, so I pray this video has been edifying and good nourishment to the house of Jacob. All right, to the house of David. All right, so um, with that, let's say, uh, let, let me end by saying, call Halayim by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwatash, double honors to our apostles, our elders, our bishops here, and great millstone for teaching us this truth, and who rule well, and shalom on to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom, shalom.